everyone, greetings from the Dutch-speaking Suriname. My name is Unica To. I want to share this testimony with you of how the Word of God literally came to life. I had never experienced something like that before. It was four years ago, on the 22nd of March in 2017, God has led me to a certain passage in the Bible. It is John chapter 4, where Jesus was in Samaria and he met this Samaritan woman and he was explaining to her how he had something for her that will quench her thirst so that she might not thirst anymore after the things of this world. And as I was in the world back then for 15 years long and my so-called world came tumbling down, I was looking for help but I could find nowhere. So when I was seeking after God, he led me to this Bible passage and I was reading this Bible passage. I was alone in the middle of the night reading and God was reasoning with me that there was something indeed in my life which I needed to give up before he could give me this living water. And I was reading as he asked this woman, go and get your husband. And she said, I have no husband. And Jesus said, you are correct because the person you are with now is not your husband. And so I felt embarrassed and ashamed. I looked left and right trying to find out if someone is listening also to this conversation. As you know, the Bible said, he wants to reason together. Even if our sins are like scarlet, he will make them whiter as snow. And I was reading, but you know, sometimes we don't want to let God in in certain areas of our life. I tried to hide this from Him. I wanted to do this by myself. But you know we cannot win from God. So I said, all to Thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. And I give up that relationship, that abusive relationship, knowing that it was not glorifying God. And so the Lord could give me indeed that living water. By God's grace, I am now four years in the faith. By His grace, I'm studying also theology at the University of the Southern Caribbean. By His grace, I am working at the Suriname Mission Office of Seventh-day Adventist as the admin assistant, but also as the prayer coordinator. And also by His grace, I could have led 13 persons to give their life to Jesus, even into the watery baptism including my mother, my sister, and her husband. So I thank God for His mercy and for His grace that is bigger than our sins and that indeed God can use everyone and anything to glorify His name. God bless you also as you seek after this living water. Amen.